my dears and welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Pamela I put out beauty related videos on Wednesdays Thursdays and Fridays today's video is sort of my um, little bit of an update on my project pan stuff I've changed certain things um, I've gotten rid of some stuff and I've added some stuff so um, I wanted to sort of keep this updated um, not only for you guys who are curious but for me I want to make sure that I'm staying on top of this stuff because I'm totally serious about finishing these products it has sort of become like my everyday go-to makeup um when I'm not filming um, a very fancy or different like makeup tutorial for you guys I'm totally just going straight to these products and using them on an everyday basis a couple of tips and tricks if you're having a hard time using your project pan stuff stick it in a bag every time I sit down and do my makeup I just grab this bag go through all of the products that are in my project pan and then after that if I want to dab into some other things then I just you know go ahead and grab them or whatever but the bag and keeping them organized in this has helped a lot for me so so let's just get right into it yes all right so a uh, little update um, I have finished this concealer I thought this was like a Mary Poppins of concealer because I literally thought it was never going to happen but I can definitely see that I have scraped some areas um, it's having a very very hard time um, giving me any product so this is officially done I can finally get rid of that I am replacing that one with this concealer um, this is the LA girl pro concealer in the shade natural it's a little too dark for me. I'm just trying to get um, over this quickly so that I could go back to my original one. And I also told myself once I finish that LA Girl concealer, I'm going to try the new Makeup Revolution one that everybody is like um, over hyping or whatever. The next thing I'm getting rid of is the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I think that this is just a little too old now. Last week I noticed in a couple tutorials that every time I was setting my eye primer, it was a little bit grainy or dry. Um, it had a little bit of uh, patchiness to it. And the one that I've replaced it with which is the hard candy eyeshadow primer doesn't do that it's a lot more creamier um, it is a newer one so I'm thinking that this is just way too old now and it just needs to go so um, I am going to just toss it now um, I've had it for way over a year and that just again like I said it just needs to go I haven't really noticed much um, progress in all of my powders which are these ones right here um, the butter bronzer still looks the same um, so does this um, it cosmetics uh, you know face powder just haven't seen much progress and I've been using them I've noticed that my wet and wild blush has completely fallen apart now so it's only a matter of time I'm sure before I like just get rid of it and you know go on to something else um, I have made a little bit of progress on this powder because I've been using it um, on a daily basis so that's a really good thing um, I haven't noticed any progress with this palette. I don't really gravitate towards it. I'm having a hard time like picking up this palette because it's nude and kind of boring. A dent, a very big dent into that shadow right there. I'm trying to figure out an angle that I could show you guys, but there's a pretty decent dent in that one. Um, I don't gravitate towards the these three shades down here so I told myself if I could at least pan these four and this shade right here then you know after that I could decide on whether or not I want to declutter it or my super shock shadow in the shade Cornelius um, I ended up dropping a couple of drops of uh, coconut oil and I like mixed it a little bit to sort of get it to be a little less dry. Um, it worked for a minute but it's still dry again and I know the matte formulas dry a lot faster than any of their other formulas so some progress is better than no progress at all. With my uh, foundation I'm having a really 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 hard time picking up this foundation. It is extremely drying on my skin right now. I don't know why I mean I guess it's the climate or whatever but it wasn't like that before so maybe in the summertime I can get like really really back into it um, and I've added something to it to try to get it to look a little less drying on my face I decided to add the tempt to boxycharm um, liquid glow edition I've been mixing these two um, I've found that it makes the foundation a lot less like a lot less drying a little more illuminating which is what I'm looking for right now because my skin is so dry but I've been doing that um, some days I don't mind it other days I hate how like patchy my face will look because it'll cling on to all of the dry patches I've got but I'm getting some more use out of it and I'm, I'm really trying on that one I've added a couple of products um, I just want to mention them right now I'm adding this uh, vintage um, by Jessica something I don't know and it's uh, a highlighter and I forgot how how pretty this highlighter is it's got sort of like a pinkish uh, rose quartz color got this like 
chocolate diamond or like a bronzy brown color um it looks beautiful on the skin i really do like it i forgot how pretty it was so i figured i'd add it i've added this trustique um eyebrow uh, pencil i i noticed i was using it pretty fast in the couple of days that i was testing it so i figured i'd add it to this and just <sighs> try to finish that product another thing I've added is this uh, this it cosmetic superhero mascara I got this um, from Ulta for my birthday um, I figured that this would be something I could finish fast so I'm gonna go ahead and add it the last two things I've got are this NYX jumbo pencil I haven't even sharpened it and it's been a month so I'm feeling discouraged on this product but nevertheless I'm still giving it my go and of course my MAC Russian Red haven't done any damage to this um, I haven't worn much red lipstick but I have been like using it as sort of like a blotted lip look <sighs> try and try that's all I've got for you guys today so hopefully you enjoyed my little demo so I'm sorry I went through my update so quick but I didn't want to make this video like super duper long I hope to continue these project pan updates for you guys um, it helps me sort of catalog my journey um, and you know the people who are interested in watching the updates um, can also get a kick out of that so uh, yeah if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.